transmission real quick fast. You good? You need white balance? Well, good afternoon. So just now on the floor, Republicans once again kept their promise to fully fund our veterans, the military readiness, and their well-being. Once again, we found the Democrats voting against our veterans. First with the NDAA on a pay raise, and now with the veterans and the military readiness. I don't understand what is up with the Democrats of why they continue to vote against our veterans. More good news today, though. The Supreme Court agreed with the House that the Mountain Valley Pipeline can and should be built. That's good news and the right call for the American workers and helping to make America energy independent. I know you in this room, for the last 201 days, I can know what day of the week it is based upon the questions that you ask. I begin to refer to them as the five stages of the DC press cycle of doubt. When I come in on Monday, the number one question you ask me is not about policy, but can we pass it? That's your doubting stage. When we get to Tuesday, you become despaired. You insist that we will not be able to pass the bill. The next is we deliver, just like today. We pass it. But what's interesting is your next step that you go to is downplay. The day before and the doubt and despair of how great of the challenge it will to be my speakership, after we pass it, the downplay, you say, well, that really wasn't a big deal. Then the final stage is your disappointment. You're sad that we continue to keep our promises to the American public. You keep hoping to write that bill that somehow we have failed or somehow we have given up. The good news is we will never give up on the American people. We made a commitment to them, and we continue to keep it time and again. You know, we will depart a little later today, and it would be responsible to look at what has this new Congress been able to accomplish. I've read your stories about a five-seat majority. I've read your stories time and again about the president threatening the veto. I read your stories that why do you pass this, even try to pass this bill? Because the Senate will never take it up. What's interesting is, this is a whole new house. You see members, they now show up for work. You see bills, they actually have to go through committee. And what has been the outcome? Well, we have passed more rule bills, 50, and sent more bills to the president's desk than the Democrats did with the Majority in the House, the Senate, and the Presidency. I look forward to reading those stories, too. The real truth is, we keep our commitment to America. We said the things that we would do in the first little bit. Yes, we voted to fire Biden's army of 87,000 IRS agents. And then in the debt ceiling, we made sure not one dollar would be able to spend this year and took another 20 billion, and we'll get the rest later. We ended the COVID emergency. We created a bipartisan select committee on China. We passed the Parents' Bill of Rights so parents can have a say in their kids' education. We passed the strongest border security bill this country has ever seen. We passed the largest spending cuts in American history without any new taxes. And we passed the first permitting reform in more than 40 years. We passed new work requirements for welfare that will lift people out of poverty. We passed the largest pay raise for our service members in decades, and the Democrats voted against it. And every day, we're working to hold the Biden administration accountable. We're watching that success as well. If there's one thing I hope you've learned about this new Republican majority, it's not just a Republican majority. It's an American majority. This is now the people's house where they can participate. Bills now have the opportunity not only to be seen and read and go through committee. Members show up to work, and most importantly, we show up to work for the American people, and we will never give up on the American people themselves. With that, I'd like to introduce our majority leader, who has worked very hard on getting these bills to the floor and making it all happen, Steve Scalise. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.